Hey Vols Monster, welcome back to another Palm Mouse video. And today let's talk a bit about the new Palmer and Regigigas that's coming out later tonight on Reset, which as usual we will be pulling for live, so make sure to tune into that. And oh, this is a good unit, man. This is <laughs> honestly like if you told me, if you showed me this guy's kit and told me he was the anniversary unit, I, I would have believed you. I would have believed you. Again, Palmer, like like character-wise, I'm not sure if that's like you know, up to like anniversary level standards, but like the kit itself, 100% anniversary level kit, right? I mean, this is just, it's, it's a, it's a crazy unit. It, it is a, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, let's, uh, let's, let's go through it then. So in terms of all right, what this unit does uh, very, very well, first of all, um, and the biggest part, honestly, is a normal type damage, right? Um, also having no normal zone as well, which again, surprisingly, they actually did normal zone, but <laughs> here we are, right? So his normal type damage is, Insane. It is. It, it's unreal, and that's just the biggest draw of this unit. Like being a unit that you're always gonna hit off type, right? You're never gonna be on type. So uh, again, like I mentioned before, it was it was always gonna be like a trouble. Like it's gonna be tricky for them, right? To sort of balance out how to do a normal type unit without making it too OP, right? Uh, Whereas, you know, you could just run him through like any stage without caring about like the typing thing and also making it so that it's not like just totally like terrible and unusable against anything. And uh, unfortunately, I think they went uh, a bit too far on the too OP side for this unit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's it's just it's unthinkable um, in terms of how how how. how good this guy's damage is right if you just you know look straight up right at what um we need to have to do like 150 right that's um 336 physical attack right uh at base which is not 140 at, at base five star which is not a, an incredible amount right that's definitely not an incredible amount but the part where like the normal type advantage kicks in is on the bp of moves because normal type moves just get an innate higher bp than other any other type moves in the game right you could be like the same condition same all that stuff same gauge cost and normal type moves will just be stronger and that <laughs> clearly reflects in all, all this guy's like moves right crush grip um <laughs> 312 base power g giga impact 480 base power right even the sync move is what uh three 360 right uh at 505 obviously right and then the max move is 540 bp which is again just straight up that's just you don't see that with non-normal type units right and yeah again that's just where all that <laughs> big stuff kicks in and again you get normal uh normal wish boost but the even crazier part right that makes it so that like this guy hits just incredibly 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 hard uh he's kind of like um Neo Champion Red in this aspect, but like kind of like on steroids where he could just because with, with Neo Champion Red, if you want like plus three special move up next, you have to like use Blizzard, hit three opponents, right? And then you get it and you boom, you use it on your big B move, which is nice and all, right? Uh, but with him, he just gets it, right? Plus three physical move up next. First of all, he does have, um, you know, plus two physical move up next on his trainer move, right? If you use it twice and then, but on his passive, right? As long as you have a sync buff, which is inst like basically instant, right? Because that's part of just how they're trying to do like slow start. Because Reggie Gigas, right? I mean, it's always going to have a slow start mechanic. But in Palm Masters, they decided, all right, let's make the slow start mechanic um, after you sync. Which, in first of all, even even without any you know <laughs> uh, sync move countdown units, it's not that hard to get, right? Just three turns and boom. Like you don't even you're not even attacking anyways in the first three three turns. You're mostly just trying to buff stuff right two trainer moves one normal zone boom you sink and then like you straight up get it it's just basically he basically does not have slow start but you know if you have any sync move countdown units you could sync like instantly and you just get this right so um yeah plus three physical move up next every single time every single time again <laughs> just straight up after uh, after you know after you attack when you have the sync buffer which again it's just gonna be on the, the entire time so that's just insane Again, every single move, plus three physical move up next. He also has, um, you know, he has some multipliers, not too many, right? But, you know, he does have stuff like a Furious Brawn over there, right? Which is, uh, which help. But yeah, like his, his, his damage is just nuts. So, so if we go over to like uh, Runner's Dock, he's doing a bit of overhaul right now, so it's, it's, it's kind of messy, but 
Um, yeah, the Gigig Impact, you can only use it once, but that's a lot of damage, right? And then you got all the other stuff too, and then um, at max BP, right? Crush Grip, 2.4 million. That's just the, that's the normal move, right? That's the normal move. You can use it, you know, unlimited times. But like, that is just straight up, like, 2.4 million. You could just look at some other types, right? What, what type is ground type? Ground type, right? Again, first of all, it's, it's, it's higher than these, but you know, you could say, oh, well, you know, super effective, right? But look at something like, um, I don't know, compared to what what type is this? Okay, poison might be a bit of a low bar, but uh, you know, look at the uh, Singsu Giovanni, right? That times two is not as much as what Crush Grip does, right? Or, or if you look at something, um, I obviously got a lot, lot, lot better now, but you know, if you look at previously right some of the best ones like sings with silver right giovanni using on giovanni's new but like using relatively new still but yeah like double you double these amounts and they do like yeah that's as much damage as as, as he does and again when, when, when we're talking about super effective, right, it's only against like one type. He's just, he does that damage against any stage, right? So it's not, it's not gonna be like tip top damage if you can compare it to like, again, something like a ch new champion red, like on type, all that stuff. But again, like off type wise, right, it's just, like, since everything is off type, he's hitting like everything for that. Um, so yeah, and a very, 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 very powerful sync there as well, which by the way, is uh, also, it's, it's an AoE. Uh, tech nuke. Oh, it's, it's forgot to mention, but yeah, it's wrote tech EX nuke. But the big part over there is it's a AOE tech EX nuke because he is a striker to begin with. So if you do have that EX roll, you get that tech um, 1.5 times nuke there as well. It's the other way around, which I don't prefer, but you know, it's still something there, right? But yeah, outside of that, you have uh, you know, a lot of other things too. Um, you have the again, defense debuffs his his crush, uh, not crush grip, but the G Giga impact, right? Like that thing, again, you only use it once, but after you use it, it's mi minus six physical defense <laughs> for the opponent. And you also heal 50% of, 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 um, of your HP, which surprisingly, he also just straight up, he has like a lot of HP and like a lot of healing stuff for, you know, some reason as well. So that's also like a big, uh, big thing. Um, and yeah, uh, what else we got? We have... Um, uh, top about physical move on the, the the gauges are actually surprisingly not that bad, right? Because you think, yeah, Rigi goes, all right, big four gauge moves, the gauge might be an issue, and it still might, it still might. I'm not saying it's not going to be an issue at all because it's still going to be one of his um, you know, uh, weaker parts. But he does have a lot of things to deal with it, though. He does have a lot of things to deal with it. He has sync freebie here, right? He has uh, free move next after using the max move, and then in the grid he got stuff like you know catalyst combo freebie, right? What else? Um. Uh, there's the, the, the move gauge, um, acceleration in, in normal zone, which I guess they just, that's the normal zone name. That's just, okay. <laughs> I mean, it is normal. So the name just turns into that, I guess. But yeah, yeah. He does have a, a decent amount of things to help him deal with it. There's, you know, two move gauge refreshers on cr crush grip. So, um, again, it's not going to be completely solved, but it's not going to be as bad if you know those things didn't exist um so yeah uh, again oh, also he's you know fully self-sufficient you know just two of his training moves you max that out basically so as for as for, as for some downsides i mean obviously the big one you know it's never super effective which again yeah right and it's not it's not completely like pointless at this point because you know there's the point of for example if you're fighting mass mode right uh you can pick up that that you know um, that the damage reduction, the eighty percent damage reduction thing, when you're running him. So I mean, you could pick it up and try to beat it if you want, but uh, it's gonna be hard. But yeah, um, so it's not totally irrelevant just because he hits so hard off type. Uh, but on the other hand, he just hits so hard off type, right? <laughs> so um, also uh, crush grip, the low HP drop off, that is also a thing, right? So what we saw earlier was at max HP because those lower the opponent's HP, the, the you know, it, it decreases in, H, uh, in BP. I, I'm not sure if we have the multipliers for that yet. Uh, I'm gonna say no, but like, it, maybe if it, it'll be something like Eruption, I don't know. 
I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure on, on how that's going to work, but um, that is definitely real. But we'll see how much it does once it co once, once the unit comes out and we could get confirmation on that, right? So, all right, next up, let's talk a bit about the build and stuff. So in terms of lucky skill-wise, I mean, Curse Track 2 is pretty, like, you can't even, you know, you, you can't do <laughs> Super Power 3 here, but, you know, Curse Track 2, right, if you're doing damage. Uh, which is his, his main job, right? Uh, although if you want, Move Gate Refresh 2 is not a bad option either, right? Just for just for that, the, the, the speed, uh, or, or gauges, right? Not speed, but... Okay, so yeah, that's that. In terms of uh, grid-wise, right? So starting from 2 out of 5, uh, it's a poke affair, so you do have these extra 2 out of 5 nodes, which are all right, you know, chase down 1, an extra 10%, you know, when the opponent's speed is debuffed, and then, you know, slow, slow opponent sink, right? So, yeah. Um, a, a, a catalyst, please, <laughs> right? If you're syncing with them, uh, you, oh, I mean, at one out of five, or not one out of five, but at two out of five, like his sync isn't like terrible just because he is like a you know, he's a, he's a striker or not striker, but he's a he's a he, he's a normal type unit, so like the BP is higher, like just just because, right? But um, you, you don't have his multipliers, right? Like he's just like a stronger nuker than like units without like multipliers so there's 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 that right but yeah you could maybe do something of like that also get the move gate refresh on on normal zone right so that's what you're saying if you're not syncing with them which is uh totally you know makes sense too i guess right you could go for the uh, normal zone recovery and just maybe pick up some you know more crush grip um power up nodes and do physical attack nodes right so not go over all that so, uh, third out of five, if you're if you're looking for just you know damage sort of grid, right? You could do something like this where you could also outside of the damage, right? The sync stuff, haymaker, fierce brawn. You also get uh, get to pick a catalyst right there, right? Right, which uh, which helps a bit with your um, with your with your uh, uh, gauges, right? So uh, there is that. Um, but outside of that, I mean, if you are in need of more gauges, you could definitely just pick up combo freebie here instead, right? You can maybe drop. So you don't have to go all the way up there, right? I mean, you're missing out on 30% of the damage, which is not nothing, right? Which is not nothing. But, uh, you know, again, if you need the gauge, you need the gauge, right? If you need more, there's even a move gauge for, uh, or, or a regen on normal zone here um, as well. So there's, there's also that. Um, outside of that, I don't really feel like there's too much other really worth mentioning. Um, nodes and builds like the countdown thing. Uh, that's Again, that's really niche if you really need it. Um, specifically, you could maybe fit that in, but um, otherwise, normal wish MP refresh. I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't think too many battles are gonna last long enough for you to really need that. But who knows? Who knows? I mean, yeah. I mean, off types tough. So like, maybe, maybe, right? So if you're gonna pick that up, then you know you you could do that. Uh, probably have to let go of uh, one of these, right? Um, so yeah, that's that's that. I guess, or or maybe you drop this um, extra power up over here, right? Those are all. Those are all options, but this is just very much um, not for the damage. Not that there's no damage, but it's just more gauges, you know, NPR, all that. So, yeah. And by the way, if you're running like, you know, the minus speed multipliers, they, they come from the max with max strike, debuffs opponent speed, right? So, all right. So for team comms, there's a, <laughs> I'm not sure how often you'd use something like this, but uh, you could do it if you want. If you just want to run a normal, <laughs> you know, damage healing team. Right, uh, obviously, uh, Regigas himself, right? And then you have uh, Hugh, which is, again, a pretty good damage healer, right? Pretty good damage healer in his own right as well. He does have that gamble thing, right? Just to, again, just to make him not overpowered, even though they made Regigas overpowered now over here. But yeah, you, you could do that. And obviously, Ace Rolla being physical, right? You know, just any of these, the, the physical supports, right? Um, Sonya, right? If you need, I guess, more. Uh, gauges or, or whatever right and um i mean with these two you don't even like really need um the the uh, the 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 physical attack buffs that much so you could just go with something like um like ho -Oh, even if you want or just any like big like gauge support right so that would work uh, but also the more realistic <laughs> i guess maybe um move over here is to run like whatever you know whatever unit you want man just whatever type you're facing, you could have Regigas there just to provide the big off-type damage and just run, like, probably a physical damage really, because Regigas, again, does debuff the opponent's uh, physical defenses, so that's going to help a lot, right? So you could just throw in whatever 
whatever physical type damage dealer that that is actually super effective against the opponent's uh yeah the stage so that that would work that would work a lot so overall this is a great unit fantastic 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 unit again like if you if you show me the kit right and and you know then show me like the the, the the again no disrespect to palmer right it's just that the anniversary characters like the you know the Kanto trio right and lily steven right Wh whatever um so notice about palmer actually i like palmer right but if you take that away show me the kit i'd say okay this this is a great freaking anniversary unit and uh you know he's still he's technically part of the anniversary right so what i'm part three of the anniversary so yeah um he's really 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 powerful he's not he's not like the all like in like he's not the almighty old strongest damage dealing game or whatever right no he's not but i do feel like he is very much worth considering right in terms of like the gem value you get out of this unit right because like again like i i just feel like uh, unless unless you're like a mega whale and you just have like every unit in the game or maybe not even every unit but like every like top you know i've got three four the top three four damage dealers of like each type right um then okay maybe this might not seem as enticing but um but 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 if not right i mean he's just a unit that you know you 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 get him and you could just run him against any weak whatever stage right because he's always off type and he's always just going to give you that crushing you know whatever million damage that he does <laughs> so yeah yeah and, and it's not just damage right you, you know you got the uh the extra the defense um debuff and all, all that stuff as well uh oh i forgot to mention in terms of like four to five five, five grids uh I, personally I, I don't i don't think they're that good i mean mighty command nine like Oh, maybe, but like, it's not even that big. Like, soften up again it makes your life easier. But other than that, I don't, I don't feel like any of these are, are like, because he already gets minus six on his, you know, G Giga Impact. Okay, you can maybe say, oh, what if they buff their defenses once? Then all right, sure, right, that might come into use. But, uh, it, but also, do you really need the opponent to be at like minus, like, have to be at minus six? You know, if, I yeah. So I, I don't feel like the far to five, five, five is really, you don't really need that, right? And uh, even if you get it, it's not gonna be like a big factor in your thing anyways but um yeah uh, i just feel like for 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 players that still you know need some or, or, or are struggling some areas with certain types damage dealers he's just a great 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 unit to have right and uh even to the extent that you know without that, that you have those damage dealers so yeah uh all things considered right again I'd still go for the like the main Annie trio first, right? Because those are just amazing units. But if you do have them, if you if you do got them, right? Because usually, you know, the month after is usually going to be a bit of a down-ish month, right? But we'll see, we'll see. Um, but yeah, if you got the Annie units, I I'd, I'd recommend them. I'd recommend going for them. So yeah, again, depending on on how much you need a unit like him. I'd say this is like a 8.8 8 to 9, right? Out of 10 banner. Like, again, he's just that. Just value wise, right? He's just very. He's just a very good value unit, right? He's just worth, um, like, the gem value you put in and, and the unit that you get. Just because you could throw you could throw him in anything. Any, throw him in anything, right? So, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, that's where this one. I guess hope you all join the guys. Think of the comments down below. Like, enjoy the videos from my channel. Some more Pokemon content. We're pulling for him later tonight, so. Um, you know, stay tuned for that. Uh, good luck, guys, are pulling them as well, or anything else uh, for that matter. Because a lot of great, a lot of great unit and banners up at the moment. So, all right, have fun. I'll see you guys in the next one.